And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. A relatively clear sky over East Idaho, Western Wyoming, but look at that. The monsoon on its way, already clipping the southwest corner of the state. And we have some big old thunderstorms over in the northeastern corner of Nevada. This will work its way across East Idaho here in the next 24 hours. So by this time tomorrow, we could have not only just white clouds over East Idaho, but some of that, some showers and thunderstorms. So go grab that umbrella. I haven't used it in a while. You may end up getting some good use out of it here in the next two to three days. 87 in Otto Falls, still pretty warm. West Yellowstone at 79. Pocatello still in the 90s. We're still in the 90s even down in northern Nevada despite the showers and thunderstorms with a temperature of 92, 96 over in Boise. So tonight's forecast mostly clear. Low temperatures will range from the upper 40s to the lower 60s. Pocatello right around 61 degrees. So fairly close to where it was last night. A little more of a blanket for the central mountains. Partly cloudy, low temperatures, a smidgen warmer than overnight last. Uh, 50 for a low in Salmon. We're still in the 30s in Stanley at 39 degrees. Uh, tonight for the highlands in western Wyoming, not quite as clear as it's been lately. We'll say mostly clear. A few more clouds will start skirting in late tonight, early morning. Lows uh, will be in the mid-30s again in Yellowstone. We'll stay out of the 30s in Island Park. Last night was 34. Tonight, a little better with a low of 40. Then tomorrow, potential showers and thunderstorms. Not until the afternoon, evening hours. So just be prepared. High of 84 in Island Park. Jackson 85. So despite some shade tomorrow and the threat of some rain and stormy weather, it's still going to be pretty warm out there. And that will also be the case for the central mountains. We'll hit 90 in Chalice, 88 very warm degrees in Salmon, with the potential showers and thunderstorms later in the day. For the Snake River Plains, same thing. It'll start off okay. You may be going, oh, well, Doug said it was supposed to rain today. Well, I didn't say it was supposed to. There's a chance of rain uh, tomorrow, and it doesn't, I don't think we'll see the rain in the morning. You have to wait until later on before we see that potential. Idaho Falls will have a high of 91. Rexburg at about 90. St. Anthony, 88. So still kind of toasty out there. Looks like the seven-day forecast most active weather day will be Friday. Showers and thunderstorms are likely. A little more than a chance. At least we'll be in the 80s and we'll take the 80s with us into the weekend with a chance of some stormy weather on Saturday. Sunday, though, will be the nicer half of the weekend. Idle Falls seven-day forecast, not quite so warm on Friday with showers and thunderstorms likely. And then a chance of that on Saturday's temperatures cool off even more. Won't see 90s again until next Tuesday, Wednesday. Teton area seven day forecast. We got a chance of stormy weather tomorrow. Likely though, you'll see those storms Friday and Saturday as temperatures really start to drop. Highs in the mid 70s to start off the weekend. And for the central mountains, we had a chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Likely we'll see all that on Friday. And then looks like it's likely all we're really gonna see this weekend. Highs in the 80s and lots of sunshine.